Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the Valhalla MMO plugin. Firstly, I'll be showing you a brief overview of what the plugin is and what it does, and then I'll show you how to set it up on your own server. It's important to mention that this plugin is still on alpha, so there may be some bugs you experience. Other than that, Valhalla MMO is an advanced plugin that adds skills a player can level and progress through. In total, there are 9 skills available and more being developed. These skills include smithing, enchanting, alchemy, mining, farming, landscaping, light and heavy armor, archery, and many more. To get started with the plugin, you should get into introduced to the commands by typing in slash Valhalla help in chat. That'll show you the commands you can use, including Valhalla recipes. Note that this plugin disables vanilla recipes for tools and armor by default because it has a custom crafting system. When you spawn in your world, you'll be given an introductory guide to help you through that. If that isn't your thing though, you can always disable custom crafting in the config. However, as a player, you can type in slash val skills or slash skills to show your skill progression. When you mine or perform any related activity, you'll see a skill bar at the top showing the XP you're building up on that skill. When the bar fills up, it means you're now at a new level. Leveling up also earns you skill points that you can use on perks. Not only that, but there's a custom resource pack the creator has made that improves the look of the skills menu. This is what the menu looks like without it, and then with it enabled. This pack isn't required though, so it's purely optional. In general, this plugin attempts to have players be more interested in mundane activities in Minecraft, so we recommend you download it and try it out yourself. In order to set the plugin up on your server, you'll have to download it, which you can do by heading to this page. The link to it will be in the description. When you're there, all you have to do is click on the download now button on the right and that will automatically download the .jar file. When it's done downloading, we recommend dragging it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. To set up Valhalla MMO on your server, you'll have to head to the server.pro website. When you're there, head into your server's control panel. At the server dashboard, make sure that your server's type is set to paper and that the version is compatible with the plugin version. You can find what version the plugin supports on the plugin page. At the moment, it states that 1.16 to 1.19 are the compatible versions. This may change in the future though, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding, make sure the server is offline and then you can head to the Files tab. There you'll see a Plugins folder. Double click that folder to open it up and once it's open, all you have to do is drag in the Valhalla MMO plugin you downloaded earlier. It'll take a millisecond to upload, so when that's done, you can turn your server on. In the meantime, you can head to the console. There you'll know that the plugin is set up on the server correctly when it says Valhalla Valhalla successfully loaded recipes. Note that if your server is still online when installing the plugin, please restart your server fully to enable the plugin. Don't do slash reload as this can cause errors. To make sure everything is working as intended in game, you want to head to your dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, start up your Minecraft application and when the game is open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When that's done, double click to enter your server. After the server has finished loading up, you can test out the plugin. As you can see, if I type in slash val skills in chat, it opens up the skill menu. If the same happens for you, that means you've set up the plugin on your server correctly. However, if it doesn't, it may mean that you missed a step in the tutorial so make sure to go back and refollow them. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.